Hey there, quirky people! I am your host, Anna, and today we're going to look at all the interesting movies and TV series coming out in December. November has been pretty busy so far. The Crown Season 5 and Manifest Season 4 have kept people hooked on Netflix. And as for the movies, Enola Holmes 2 and Slumberland have also given people something to enjoy at the weekends. Meanwhile, Wakanda Forever has been ruling the box office. But what if I told you that December is going to be even bigger and busier? With all the streaming services competing against each other and Disney trying to score a billion dollars, we've got a ton of content headed our way in December 2022. Before we look at it, I'd love it if you guys would hit those like and subscribe buttons to support our channel. With that out of the way, let's start with release number one, Violent Night. Santa Claus is coming. David Harbour has been doing pretty well for himself in the MCU space and Stranger Things. But now he'd be leading a movie that's made for all hardcore action junkies. He plays the real Santa Claus who will be taking on a team of criminals. On Christmas Eve, this team breaks into a wealthy family's mansion and takes everyone hostage. But little did they know that Santa is among them to kick their butts. Over the years, you've loved movies like John Wick, Atomic Blonde, Nobody, Kate, and Extraction. Well, Violent Night has the potential to be right up the alley of those films. So don't forget to watch it when it hits the theaters on December 2nd. Next up, HBO is releasing His Dark Materials Season 3. This series is adapted from a three novel series of the same name and it features some of the greatest talents. For two seasons, we've enjoyed the performances of Daphne Keene from Logan. Michelle Monaghan from Mission Impossible Movies, Lin-Manuel Miranda, and most importantly, James McAvoy. Now HBO is bringing the third season of this fantasy series where Daphne Keene's character Lyra will try to liberate their world from the grip of the evil Magisterium. Episode 1 of Season 3 hits HBO and HBO Max on December 5th. Up next we've got Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. I'm a real boy! While all of us enjoyed this live-action remake of Pinocchio on Disney Plus earlier this year, Netflix is bringing us a very different animated version by Guillermo del Toro. While the Disney version was a universal movie with kids and adults enjoying it equally, del Toro's take on the classic fairy tale is a darker one targeted at a mature audience demographic. Instead of turning into a nice little boy, the wooden puppet becomes a mischievous one in this particular outing. So it'll be interesting to see what lessons he gets to learn from his given life. Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio arrives on December 9th. And on the same day, Apple TV Plus will release Emancipation. Will Smith hasn't starred in or even signed a new movie ever since that slap incident at the Oscars. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Studios have decided to stay away from him, but he had already shot Emancipation for Apple TV Plus by that time. In the movie, we will follow Smith as a runaway slave called Peter. He went through Louisiana swamps for 10 days in order to escape to the Union Army. And his struggle in this movie would allow Will Smith to be back and redeem himself in the future. Up next, we have a series called National Treasure Edge of History. We've seen Fox's two National Treasure movies featuring Nicolas Cage. And National Treasure 3 never came out. But now that Disney owns Fox, they are bringing in a series which will act as an expansion of the old National Treasure movies. We will see things from the point of view of a resourceful dreamer named Jess. She would embark on a journey of adventures to save a lost Pan American treasure. The first two episodes of the show arrive on December 14th, and from the next week onwards, the show will continue to launch one episode each. After this one, we'll get the biggest movie of the month, or perhaps even the movie of the year, Avatar The Way of Water. The sequel to James Cameron's first Avatar is finally coming after a bunch of delays. It is going to be an extremely long movie, as its reported runtime is 3 hours and 12 minutes. So, we'll be in for a massive visual spectacle on December 16th. Jake Sully and his family will move out of their own tribe and seek sanctuary with the people of the Metkayina tribe. A lot of new characters will be introduced as the movie goes on. And this time, we will be witnessing a battle between the humans and the Navi team involving Jake and the Metkayina people. They go up against the original movie villain Quaritch, who will also be operating an Avatar body this time around. But on the same day as Avatar 2, we'd also get The Sun. Hugh Jackman fans finally get to rejoice as he stars in a new drama movie called The Sun. Clearly, as the title suggests, it is a father-son bonding movie where Jackman's character Peter tries to reconnect with his father after his divorce. You are going to be moved watching Peter's family as it falls apart and tries to come back together again. 
Young actor Zen McGrath plays the son Nicholas, and the movie also stars Vanessa Kirby, alongside Hollywood veteran Anthony Hopkins. Another movie that's coming on December 16th is none other than, spoiler alert, this light-hearted comedy movie is based on Michael Asiello's best-selling memoir, Spoiler Alert, The Hero Dies. It stars The Big Bang Theory's Jim Parsons, who plays Michael himself. And we will be witnessing the heartwarming, funny, and life-affirming story of his relationship with his partner, Kit. Next up, Netflix will bring us The Recruit. You've seen Noah Santino in Black Adam and several other Netflix projects, but now he is all set to become a young Jason Bourne in Netflix's action thriller series. As a fledging lawyer at the CIA, he gets entangled in a conspiracy, and it will be interesting to see how he manages to get out of it. Clearly, December 16th is a heavy date, because the recruit also arrives on the same date. Next up we have Emily in Paris Season 3. People totally adored this comedy drama series when it arrived in 2020. Chicago marketing executive Emily Cooper was hired to provide an American perspective at a marketing firm in Paris. Her adventures had people hooked throughout two seasons. And now we're all ready to follow her story further in season three when it arrives on December 21st. But Prime Video will surely win the streaming competition of this day because they're launching Jack Ryan season three. Jack, if you've got a plan, the time is now. Go, go. John Krasinski returns in one of the biggest Prime Video original shows. The first two seasons were extremely engaging. In fact, season two proved to be a major improvement story-wise. So, we expect the same when John Krasinski returns as the infamous CIA analyst in Season 3. And the good thing is that all eight episodes of the show will be available to binge at once. It won't be another weekly ordeal. On the same day, you could visit your nearest theater screen to watch Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. I am Puss in Boots! Antonio Banderas returned as the voice of the notorious cat in Boots 10 years after the first movie. And Salma Hayek also comes back to voice Kitty Soft Paws. This time, our infamous PIB embarks on an epic journey into the Black Forest. He will be on a quest to find the mythical wishing star and restore his lost lives. After the sequel, you should get ready for the second biggest movie of the month, Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery. Rian Johnson did an amazing job with the first Knives Out movie. Now he is back with the sequel on Netflix. And Daniel Craig is also returning as the leading detective, Benioit Blank. This time around, he'll solve another unsolvable mystery involving the characters of Dave Bautista, Edward Norton, Katherine Hahn, and several other familiar names. Glass Onion starts streaming on December 23rd. Even after this movie, Netflix will keep us hooked constantly as the next project is The Witcher Blood Origin. This prequel series takes place 1,200 years before Geralt of Rivia's horrifying action-packed adventures. This is when the worlds of monsters, men, and elves merged into one and the first Witcher was created. While we wait for The Witcher Season 3 to arrive, this spin-off limited series will expand the world even further while telling us the true origins of The Witcher. Michelle Yeoh will be the big lead in the show that consists of four episodes. It hits Netflix on Christmas Day, December 25th. Then the streaming giant brings us They Clone Tyrone. Jamie Foxx has already starred in a great hardcore action comedy earlier this year. Now he returns in a sci-fi comedy alongside Teona Paris and John Boyega. It's about three lifelong friends who end up at the center of a mind-bending government conspiracy. And the way they enter into the situation is just going to be funny as hell. They Clone Tyrone arrives on December 30th, and it ends the list of all great movies and TV shows releasing in December. Which ones are you excited about? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one.